Hi, so what we will be discussing today is the fundamentals of taxation or the basic of taxation. And this is Economics 1 class. Um, the first question is how government generates funds. Asa managikan ang funds sa gobyerno? Number one, the government can borrow funds from local or international banks. The government can also sell uh, public land. The government can also sell the go the properties. So there are some properties that will be sold and the government can also invest in corporations. However, the biggest source of um, revenue or funds of, of the government is actually tax. So in this chapter, we will be focusing on the fundamentals of taxation and its importance to the development and progress of an economy. So uh, taxes are the government's main source of uh, funds for its necessary expenses. In the, in the Philippines, uh, the process of taxation is unpopular. So dili siya kaayo, gina dis, gina and most of the times it's very controversial especially like the imposition of uh, EVAT or expanded value added tax and because of that because it's it's not popular and it's not um, it's controversial we have to uh, it is important for us to study and learn taxation so we could better understand its processes and eventually we will be more aware and committed to pay our taxes. So uh, one of the government's uh, main function or primary duty is to provide for basic needs uh, that will be housing, food, clothing, health services through social services. But the government needs money so that uh, there will be enough funds to cover the expenses for these services. So, kung wala ning siyang money, the government cannot provide for these services. Thus, uh, ang constitution nato mandates the government to collect what taxes. To collect ta taxes from individuals who earn uh, income or who own properties or businesses. And this collection of taxes by the government from individual and those who own businesses is what we call taxation. That's the process. So, uh, ang taxation undergoes uh, two stages. Ang first is the uh, the legislative uh imposes a tax so ang, ang legislative ang mag-impose a tax and afterwards the con concerned government agencies uh, will collect it no katong um, uh, like BIR or the Bureau of Customs and then part of their job includes enforcing sanctions for tax evasion so part put sa ilang trabaho is to impose penalties or sanctions sa mga nag uh, naglikay o dili magbayad o tax. Okay, so uh, that's the that's the I mean the basic reason nga nung na ay taxation. Okay, so let's go into uh, the nature of taxation. The nature of taxation uh, it refers to its basic concept or its character. Ang taxation mong god is a state a uh, power uh, exercised through the country's legislative body. So, in the Philippines, ang mga tax laws nato are passed uh, both in the House of Representatives or in the Congress and the Senate. And um, taxes are collected to support the government in its expenses and services for public welfare. Uh, which is, atong giingon ganina, this is mandated by our constitution. And the constitution that we are using is the 1987 constitution. Then the tax pod is, uh, I mean, the constitution obliges everyone to pay taxes as a form of support to the government. And the revenue through taxation must only be used for government operations and for public welfare. So that's the nature of tax. It should only be used for public 
welfare. So, on sa may mga purposes sa tax, what are the purposes of tax? Uh, the purpose of tax is to raise revenue uh, from all possible sources para masuportahan ang government expenditures and ang mga services and also to promote the general well-being and protection of its citizens. Okay, so para ma-provide, no? Atong gida sa ganin na basic services sa um, population. Tax collection, ang, ang collection sa tax is very important sa, for the country's progress. It is important for every um, citizen like you or, and me to pay our taxes. And um, the go ang mga government projects uh, will not be done, will not materialize if funds are not enough to support. That's why the government uh, will have to make sure that they have enough funds through collecting taxes to support the services. And um, there are many other purposes of taxation aside from uh, contributing to the financial resources of the nation. Taxes are also used to safeguard newly opened industries by uh, man, extending tax exemptions to pioneering and new enterprises. And uh, meaning, like for example, na a new, new enterprise nga musulod, uh, para matabangan na siya, pwede po ang gobyerno maghatag og tax exemption. Marag, dili, oh, sige, for the first five years, dili sa ka maghatag og tax or dili sa ka na suktun og tax so that you will be able to kanabitang makasikad sa siya, makaboom ang imong enterprise. And another one is, it is also used to shield, uh, maprotektahan ang mga domestic producers by imposing higher tariffs or custom duties on importer imported goods. So, kintahay ka ng, uh, for example lang, na ay ka ng chocolate. So, naman tayo mga local chocolate, like Goya, di ba? Yan natin imported nga chocolates. In order for us to protect the local chocolates, we also we have to control sa inflow sa mga imported chocolates. Kay kung mapuno tag imported chocolates, mamatay ang atong chocolate industry or ang atong chocolate ng mga companies. So, muna siya ay purpose sa taxation. So, what are the canons of taxation? These are the basic principles of a sound tax. Um, tax collection is, uh, is very important. So, therefore, there are actually two canons of, or three canons of taxation. Number one is the fiscal adequacy. So, the fiscal adequacy means that um, taxes collected by the Bureau of Internal Revenue or the BIR uh, must be sufficient to fund the necessary government expenditures and basic services in a given fiscal year. So, dapat sufficient siya, enough siya. It also means that uh, revenues must be capable of adjusting to variations in public expenditures. So, pwede po siya, dapat uh, ma-adjust uh, ma po siya. No, kanang, kaysa gobyerno mang God, like for example, uh, ang expenditure sa 2022, sa 2021 palang giplan na siya. No, mga end of, before the end of the year, giplano na na ang budget for the next year. Ana, sa, ana ang gobyerno mag-budget. So, it should also be uh, capable of adjusting. Administrative feasibility. Administrative feasibility means that payment of taxes must be taxpayer-friendly. No? Dili siya dapat pahirap sa nagbayad of tax. So, dapat siya simple uh, and also accessible and convenient. So, dapat dali ra para sa mga taxpayers nga pareha na to, nga magbayad o taxes. Mo nang naay mga, like say for example, if employed ka, dili ikaw necessary ang mo file sa imong tax. Murag, uh, ang imong employee na ang mo will, withheld or mo collect sa imong tax and sila na mag-process ana. So, it, it will become easier, convenient para magbayad kay uh, murabag ka ng uh, bawasan na gani ni mo akong kita, pahirapan pa magbayad, di ba? So, dapat imuon siyang convenient and accessible. Third is theoretical justice. 
theoretical justice refers to the ability to pay principal, which means nga ang ang burden to pay tax must be proportionate to the taxpayer's level of income. Meaning, uh, if dako ang imong income, dako po kagbayarag tax. Uh, gamay ang imong income, gamay po ang imong bayaran of tax. Meaning, dili, dili ta equal amount. No, Everyone has its own amount of amount to pay for tax. Okay? Kung um, katong mga dagoog income, ipareho ang tax sa gagmay income, lo, kanang dili siya fair. No? Dapat fair na siya. Mga nang giingon nga ability to pay para i-level sa imong uh, capacity and sa imong income. Okay? So, those are the canons of taxation. Now, uh, the basis of taxation. So, may basis aning taxation. So, there are actually several basis for the uh, taxation. Okay? Um, actually, um, I think there are eight basis of taxation. So, the first one is the constitution, which is the fundamental law of the land. So, we have already... Uh, mentioned constitution, di ba? So, ang taxation, it is included in our constitution. So, therefore, dili siya pwedeng mawala because it's a mandate. Number two, statutes, laws passed by Congress. So, kanang magipasa mga bat balaod nga gipas sa Congress, isa po na siya sa mahimong basis. Third, presidential decree. So, kanang mga decree nga i-proclaim sa kinsaman ng president. Then, the Bureau of Internal Revenue Rules and Regulations. So, since ang BIR ang authorized to collect uh, taxes, they also have, they are also authorized to uh, issue rules and regulations on how to collect taxes, how much to be collected, etc. Next is judicial judi decisions by the Supreme Court on tax cases. So, nami mga kaso regarding tax no kung unsa yung decision ana mahimo na po na siyang basihan in collecting taxes provincial city and municipal ordinances yes ang mga ang mga local government they uh, they have they can also um, their decisions or ordinances are basis for taxation Next is the observance of international agreements. So, naman tayo mga, uh, we are member of international organizations, di ba? So, we have to also make those agreements as basis for taxation, especially for import and export products. And administrative rulings and opinions. So, again, mura po niya sa judicial decision. So, na mga administrative rulings, opinions, decisions, mahimo po na siyang, ginagamit po na siya as basis for taxation. Okay? So, um, objects of taxation. So, unsa man tong mga, kinsa may kulikan, kinsa may magbayad og tax, or unsa man ang mga bagay, butang nga, kulektahan o bayaran og tax. So, um, um, ang taxes good are imposed on different taxable entities. Uh, pag may yung tag-taxable entities, uh, maotong mga na ay obligasyon to pay tax. And uh, some examples are, number one, katong individuals who earn a considerable amount of income. So, kanang individual, pwede na siyang worker, uh, kanang mga nagtrabaho, trabaho sa opisina, sa mga pabrika, nasa na siya trabaho, or pwede po na siyang businessman, uh, na siya negosyo, it's either partnership ba na nga business or corporation nga business. So, those are the individuals that are, that has the burden of taxation. Number, uh, or someone who inherited a property or any individual nga nag-inherit siya property, kaya nabitong yung na, sipa na, namana. Or, if someone is given a gift, or donation of a considerable amount. So, kanang gift nga ihatag sa imo or mga donation ana taxable na siya no, uh, under the Constitution. The second one is the tangible and intangible properties. Tangible and intangible properties uh, with their personal properties mana, kanang personal properties movable um, or kanang immovable properties, they are 
they are subject to taxation. So, uh, pag may tag-movable ka ng mga vehicles, furnitures, patents, ownership titles, or real properties, mo na sila'y mga movable. Ang mga immovable ka ng mga real estates, mga kayutaan, uh, buildings and houses, mo na sila'y mga immovable. So, those are taxable. Atong gitawag. Number three, Transactions. So, kana mga transactions, consumption, interest, imports and exports, and privileges, taxable na siya tanan. So, um, sa next chapter, ato nang i-discuss o kung na sila. Okay, so, um, with this, I have a question for you. Why do we see taxes as a burden? Because that's actually how other people look at it. Especially in the Philippines, because uh, the tax is very controversial sa Pilipinas. So, why do you see taxes as a burden? Nganong burden mana ang pagbayad sa tax? Okay, so, um, if you have any questions, you know where to post your questions. And you also know how to submit your uh, the answer to the quiz.